Let's take a look at the bond order for CN minus. This is the cyanide ion. So to find the bond order for the cyanide ion, you first need a valid Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure here. If you need help with that, there is a link at the end of this video, how to draw the Lewis structure for CN minus. So when we look at bond order, we're gonna look at these electrons here shared covalently between the carbon and the nitrogen. So if we have one bond, we have a bond order of one. Two bonds would be two. And here we have one, two, three pairs of electrons shared. So we have three bonds. That means the bond order for CN minus, that's going to be three. When we think about bond order, the higher the bond order is, we'll have a shorter bond. So for example, bond order of three here will be shorter than a bond order of two, and that will be shorter than a bond order of one. And as we go down, as our bond order increases. The higher the bond order, the stronger the bond. So this triple bond would be stronger than a double bond and stronger than a single bond in general. Finally, when we have the higher bond order, as that bond order increases, we get a more stable molecule. So that's it. This is Dr. B looking at the bond order for the cyanide ion, CN minus. Thanks for watching.